Welcome to Marshall Blend's fragrance So We'll learn together and grow together Oh yeah Oh yeah Oh yeah <laughs> Welcome to my fragrance show. I am Marshall Blends Fragrance and today my scent of the day is Jonqui by Darren Allen Perfumes. And as the 10 milliliter box and the bottle lets you know, yeah, this is a yellow floral fragrance. Very vintage, I gotta tell you. Very vintage. This is like, I kept trying, wanting to say the word endolic, but it's not endolic. It's that vintage musk that is in this fragrance. So if you're the person that loves uh, yellow fragrance of yesteryear, this is one for you. I am enjoying wearing it. I'm gonna spray some more again. Oh, you know what I did, guys? From uh, Amazon, I ordered these like little strips, tester strips, but I prefer the thick like these. I prefer them to be cut like this, simply because either, either way you grab it, it's okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it is a yellow floral fragrance. You guys know, and he suggests, Darren Allen says, test it off of skin, better than paper. Off of paper, it smells so wonderful. Off of paper, it smells so wonderful. This makes me think of what a fancy woman smelled like in the movie Annie. You know what I mean? What's the name of the lady that used to take care of her that was um, Daddy Warbucks' assistant? I could picture her wearing this. I could picture, oh, this smells so good. I could picture um, Mae West wearing this. I can picture Betty Boop wearing this. I can picture um, even royalty, whoever the queen was in the 30s, wearing this. You know what I mean? Like that's how good this smells. It really is an authentic vintage musk. Genquil is a flower, guys. It is from the genus um, Narcissus, but you know that Narcissus have different species. So in this fragrance, there is Narcissus and Genqui. So one would say, is it redundant? No, it's not redundant because the, he's specifying these species. And in this case, Genqui is one of them. It is an interesting scent. This is a scent that I gotta tell you, although it is um, vintage inspired, it has its own unique smell. All right, see you in a few. It has its own unique smell. So let me tell you what notes are in here. So the top notes are bergamot and galbanum, or galbanum, galbano. And then the heart notes are genquil, narcissus, and mimosa. The base notes are angelica root, ambret seed, and vintage musk accord and so this is a spring floral i absolutely do agree with it being classified as a spring floral although i could see it being worn throughout the year it is just that uh powerful of a fragrance it is really just that much of a powerful fragrance i sprayed it on my shirt before i jumped in the shower to give it time to like air and for me to walk out of the bathroom and smell it as a first impression and I loved what I was smelling. So is it animalic? Yes, it has animalic inclination. It has, uh, for lack of a better word, I'm not using it totally correctly, somewhat endolic uh, tendencies as well. It is unique. It smells like a fancy person. And honestly, when I say fancy, I don't mean fancy of just one class. Fancy, period. You know what I mean? Like just. That person from your block that you know is fancy and is posh and you know she's about her you know what I mean she's about her that's what this really does smell like so I, I give it props 
Darren. This gets a sparkling 42 out of 10. And I feel that I'm giving it a 42. Someone else might give it a 50 out of 10. And someone else might say, oh my goodness, this smells too vintage. I don't know. But for me, this is a solid 9.2 out of 10. I absolutely love it. This is a limited edition fragrance available in 10 milliliters size only. Once these are sold out, they will be gone until next year, like the fleeting daffodils of spring. And daffodils, yes, daffodils are part of the Narcissus family. So is this worth it? Yes. I can tell you this is... How do I explain it? Okay, the 10 milliliter for me would be worth at least $65, $75, and he has them going for $45. So, I, I, is it worth it? It's definitely worth it. It's a steal, is what it is, okay? It's a steal. So, get it while it's available. I purchased a few. I'm, you know me, I, like, I wanna make sure I have. So I purchased a few of these, and chances are I'll probably purchase some more. Because this one is one that I would also like to do an IRL giveaway. So, yeah. The other thing, he was kind enough to send me um, Dorian's Fouge, Dorian's Fouge. Dorian, there's a story, it's, a, it's from a book and also a movie. Uh, Dorian Gray, I think was his name or something like that. It's from there. So let's, you guys know I love Fouge's, Fouge's, Fouge's. I love Fouge's. And so let's see, go. Oh. Oh. This is a gorgeous Fouge. That opening is precisely, and I, I'm even getting a little bit of powderiness at the opening. <sighs> so how would I describe this? This is a, in my head, off the dome, the opening gives me a floral fougé, a floral fougé that has um, a powdery, aromatic, to it and it is it is definitely has mossiness to it this is absolutely beautiful this one I could see myself wearing to an assembly or to a convention to I could see myself wearing this to like a special event a special occasion somewhere where I have to show up you know where I have to you know be dressed to the nines and smell to the nines like this is this is very much that it opens with a bright bergamot spike lavender that's the powderiness that i got the lavender petit grain and mastic leaf the heart unfolds to reveal notes of carnation geranium hawthorn artisanal hay absolute definitely i get the hay absolute Sambak jasmine, oh, and neroli. So this one is giving that endolicness, absolutely. And artisanal tonka bean, absolute. I cannot wait to smell that tonka bean. Oh, now I'm getting greenery. I'm getting like that the hay. I'm getting that like hayish kind of smell. The heart unfolds to reveal notes of carnation, geranium, hawthorn, artisanal hay, absolute, sandbag, jasmine, neroli, artisanal tonka bean, absolute. The dry down reveals smooth balsamic notes, resins. Mysore sandalwood, oak moss. I got the oak moss off the opening too. Saffron absolute, patchouli and vintage musk and civet accords that harken to an era of bygone elegance. This is definitely an elegant, elegant fragrance. Oh my goodness, I love it. I'm not gonna call it a Fouget's Fouge. I will call it a Fouget's unique. sibling. A Fouget's unique sibling. That's what I'll call it. Darian's Fouget is just, it's, it is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. That petty grain is giving me a greenness. It's giving me a greenness. Um, and not, not so much, you know, the, 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 when you break a green stem, or maybe he had mentioned something else, but I think it's the petty grain. When you break the stem of a, of a, of something like a bush or something that I'm getting that you know what I mean so great job again Darren you you don't disappoint you've never disappointed it's always quality
That's what I expect. Quality. And when it comes to this uh, vintage element, you you nail it. You nail it. And how you nail it is you give us 90% vintage, 10% modern, so that it's absolutely wearable today. And definitely wearable tomorrow. Just great job. All right? Goodbye, my lovely fragrance blender. Smell